Hello everybody, my name is Chris and I'm the head of Bought Media at Flawed Digital. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about double click smart bidding feature called auto targets and bid strategies. So bid strategies is a, uh, a feature offered by DoubleClick that allows PPC managers to basically manage uh, bids at scale. So for a lot of PPC managers, managing all your campaigns and all your accounts can be a really monotonous task, especially if you've got 15 accounts, for example, and each of those accounts have got, say, 100 campaigns and millions of keywords. So what Bid Strategies does is it allows you to create one rule that's in line with your business objectives. So it could be, for example, um, to meet a certain return on investment or to meet a certain goal in terms of conversions. It also offers a lot of control for PPC managers as well. If you have a certain spend target for a month, it'll make sure that you reach a certain conversion level for your media spend. DoubleClick does this through a smart bidding feature um, and is based on machine learning and historical data in your account. So you'll need a substantial amount of data to even really get going with this. You'll have to give it a decent amount of time to actually scale up. It helps if you've got quite a lot of account history because you'll be able to make those changes fairly quickly. It can save PPC managers a hell of a lot of time if you consider uh, changing keyword bids, ad group bids, uh, day parting bids, all that rolled into one day and pulling all those reports adds up to a lot of hours. By implementing the bid strategy, it's gonna do it all for you. A couple of objectives that you might wanna choose from would be conversions, return investment. You might want to hold a certain um, position if you're bidding on brand, for example, if you want to maintain a good share of your brand coverage or you just want to maintain a certain level of spend on say a weekly or a monthly basis. One thing to watch out for when you're using bid strategies is make sure you're fairly generous on your minimum and maximum uh, bid to begin with. Don't go too low because it'll just make the algorithm have to work harder to be able to get, gather the data. Give it a good amount of time to learn and react upon that. The same goes for the max ceiling bid as well. Don't put that too low, don't constrain it too much. Make sure you give yourself enough time for the machine to actually learn and react. Remember to keep an eye on your attributes as well um, that you'll find detailed in the report. There's some data in there that'll give you a good insight into why you, your algorithm isn't kicking in properly and your bid strategies probably isn't performing in the right way. It might be that you, your minimum bid's too low or your maximum bid's too low, for example. So just watch out for those additional attributes in the reporting section to give you a little bit more insight. Keep an eye on other metrics such as optimal cost percentage and difference from actual bid range. Keep an eye on these will tell you whether you, you're actually not gathering enough data or you're deviating from your, uh, your objective being met too much. There's plenty of data there, there's plenty of attributes that you can analyse to give this uh, information, so just keep a lookout for them too. So in summary, it's automated, so it takes time away from doing manual reports and bid changes across your accounts. It also makes sure that you're gonna meet your client objectives and that you're gonna stay within your allocated media spend. This is a perfect feature for PPC managers that imagine accounts at scale. It's a huge cost saving and time saving element to it too. So make sure you give it a go.